Well, jumping back in here to Solar Rogue. You know, I have to say, I'm happy about how Firebase had gone so far, but, um... It really goes to show, I've basically been, like, you know, in this for, like, seven episodes, and I've really, like, you know, really, like, not scratched the surface of what this game has to offer, because... It's basically such a slow-moving game, so, for the most part, but whatever. We're ready to basically keep going, so why not? Let's just keep going. I'm gonna hunt down this bomber here, I think. Yeah, I just grabbed the attention of like everything around me apparently, so whoops. Alright, well, let's go like this then. We'll hold off on this for now. Let's fire that right there. That right there. Yes, everything is firing at me. That's down. Now, unfortunately, these dirt ships, they don't actually take a lot of, like, you know, damage to, like, you know, my EM laser, so it's gonna be a little useless against them, but whatever. That's fine. Alright, that's close enough to basically hit this guy, like, you know, everything basically around me, so boom. Whoops. Well, uh, I didn't fire my torpedo, but at least I disabled everything around me, apparently. Well, we didn't select that guy, apparently. So that's good to know. Yeah, I'm not firing my, like, you know, my, um, electromagnetic, like, you know, laser at these guys, so they don't have, like, any shields to basically, like, you know, take, and the thing about, like, your weapon is that it doesn't do, like, damage to, like, you know, stuff that's basically, like, you know, um, all hull, basically, because, you know, hull damage goes down. Whatever. Let's fire us right here. Oh, I have like two of these guys right, um, you know, next to me here. That's good now. Well, one of those guys is saving the air a little bit. Let's fire us right here. Fire us right here. Oh, both. They're uh, both right there. That's nice. Did I kill them both there? I believe I did. So, it's just one guy left. Alright, well, we killed everything around me. I used quite a few torpedoes basically doing that. I got, like, you know, my shields knocked down a little bit, but that's fine. It's fine, I kill everything and yay! I finally got myself a jerk matter to energy converter. Just what I want. Eh, why not? We'll hunt these guys down over here. Kill it all! Literally. Um I have a sneaking for suspicion that these guys both have a. Uh, Hacking tools on, but you know, whatever. Let's go right up here. Perk, not our own range for like, you know, a blast. So, boom. Why not? Go. Boom. Oh, that guy's not down. He is now, though. There's a shield bypass right there. You know what? Let's actually just leave this alone here. This battleship wreckage, because I might be able to use it for a moment. So, we'll drop that.
I'm just gonna take everything except for the frigate hull right here. There's a reason to my madness, you'll basically see why soon. Analysis here, I don't need this. Don't need that. You're nice and close now. Not close enough to hit the shit, so... Taking a sweet time getting next to me, you know, but whatever, well, that's fine, we can wait for him. There we go, now he's close enough. Fire! His shield is gone. And yeah, that's like the thing to note about these guys, like early guys, the like, you know, electromagnetic like, stuff isn't that useful against, but you know, whatever. Our data hack tool in this guy. So these data hack tools, I know by the way just to look at them right, right now. Um, basically they like exploit the vulnerabilities of an enemy's like, you know, comm network and like sending exploits in like, you know, the cellular system systems and stuff like that. With like the like, you know, with comparison to like the EMP that I basically use, these are basically like, you know, um, they're more efficient in terms of like energy, but you know, as you see here they have like, you know, feel like, you know, much higher cost basically double the amount of time, but whatever. They also don't do any damage to these things as opposed to like the EMP. But they have like a good chance based on disabling stuff, so they're really useful for that. Let's recycle stuff here. We're just getting rid of uh, this and this and this and this. There's a cool EMP right here, but whatever, let's get rid of that. And this. Don't need a skull hole relic, but let's get rid of this. You know, I'm not really sure I really need that extra solar array, but you know, whatever, it's there for now, so whatever. Alright, so. A Jurg Marita Energy Converter. What's nice about the Jurg, by the way, is that they have very powerful weapons in terms of lasers, so. You're always guaranteed basically to have, like, you know, a Mark II laser, basically, for, like, you know, these guys here. They also have fast Mark II, like, stuff here as well, but you know, whatever, I don't really care about that stuff. Basic Mine Laser, Shield Railgun Mark II. I don't think I need anything from these guys here, but you know. What I will be using this guy for is probably building a Jerk Battleship, just to throw our AI out there. So, note this thing basically takes a Battleship hull and a Frigate hull. And. On top of that, basically, it doesn't have shields or anything, but it has lots of, like, you know, utility mounts as well as, like, you know, weapon mounts. And it's something called a Zerg, uh, a Zerg Regen, and basically what this is um, all about. For those who basically can, like, you know, um, see the parallels, the Zerg are basically like the Zerg from, like, I guess, like, StarCraft. And now, basically, their ships basically regenerate by, by themselves. They're, like, you know, biological ships, I guess. So, there's, like, no real, like, you know, distinction between, like, you know, what these ship base are all about. But, essentially, these guys can, like, sort of regenerate. And they move a lot faster as well, so these are like really awesome battleships to you know, make use of. It will like, you know, make make me have like no no like you know shield so to speak up, but um If I look at like this battleship for example, basically I have like you know 60 shields and like you know 50 hull, but it would be like nice basically to have like a faster ship than like you know this one right here, I think. So there's good purpose for it. I'll probably use up my energy though for our stuff first though, so we'll do that. And we need to make some more torpedoes, I guess, so let's get those out of the way. There we go, energy status goes down a little bit. And I guess we're just gonna hunt down some more stuff up here, because, you know, why not? Whoop, that guy saw me. But I still want to hit these guys first up here, so... Let's go over here a little bit. Technically he's in range, so let's see if it does you know, anything to him. I'll fire us right here. 
Um, now I just like the bathroom with the EMP. I can't really tell what space is sailed, so. Well, I think I actually disabled everything there, so it doesn't really matter, but you know. Let's fire us right here. The airship is back online. Boom. Doesn't matter, they're dead. Uh, let's go down here. Yeah, I don't really care about it too much. This is like, you know... We'll take a few shield hits, that's fine. Hooray, we killed it! We didn't have any, you know, much space left to it, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, a shielded Zerg, um, you know, converter. Let's see what this basically has on it. Compact laser, turret mark 2. Mining laser, compact torpedo launcher. Lucky EMP, book from rail guns, and so like that. So, again, sort of a map, but whatever. Now, I'm not by the way, this is probably out there. Um, I'm not these like jerk converters compared to like the melting converters. If you look at the melting grade converters, these guys basically have like, you know, a maximum like, you know, energy reserve of like, you know, 100,000. But these like jerk mark converters, they're like, you know, pitiful. So, I assume like basically when you get around to it, like, you know, you'll basically want to be having like a melting grade converter basically on to like, you know, Protect like what you basically have. But whatever. Ah, let's hunt this guy down over here. There we go. It doesn't look like this guy has a shield of any, of any type bomb, so... He's gone. Now, not by the way, as well, if I look at this right here. You basically have like 40,000 for like energy conversion on like, you know, these like, you know, Mark II ones. And 20,000 based on the regular ones, so... Yeah, the jerk, they have like no maximum energy conversion whatsoever, so to speak, but whatever. It's fine. They do their job. And we see it, so let's kill it. Kill it! Kill it! There's a solar ray. Kill these two. I think it sees me, by the way. Oh, we killed a the scout there. Now. That's something I know about, about this game. Apparently it's like a smart system where if you kill an enemy of like, you know, your first weapon, you don't fire like your next weapon basically to kill it. I actually think that's sort of a bad idea because like, you know, you should be like wasting like your energy base, I think, like, you know, to do stuff in this game. Just like, you know, so there's like, you know, some like, you know, counterbalance, like, you know, missiles and stuff like that. They could be firing. However. Let's give this stuff right here a little bit of like energy will be like nice for building a battleship. Let's give this right here. We'll get rid of a little bit of my uh, hydrogen here a little bit. Let's 
You know what? I feel, you know, adventurous. Let's go kill this stuff. I think everything sees me now. Fire's here, fire's here, boom. Perfect, we killed both the uh, human stuff. I feel like I killed this guy too, so... Oh, enemy ship is back online. Dead. Uh, there's some stuff in here, I guess. Look at that, there's the Mime Tick Medium Shield. Let's just go up here a little bit. So yeah, basically this thing here. You know, I don't actually think it's like a, a bad idea because they have like a secondary, like, you know, Mime Tick, like, you know, shield like this because this actually increase like your, like, you know, um... Your dog's chance and stuff like that. This would be a pretty good shield, I think, to have. But you basically want to have, like, increased dodge on your ship. Like, right now, I've basically got, like, you know, the efficient medium shield here, right? So, it basically, like, you know, has reduced cost, basically, to have it on. But if I put this, basically, on, I'll basically have an increased dodge chance. And it's not like I'm, like, getting much from the maximum shield anyway, so it's, like, you know... That's not a bad thing to put right there, I think. Why not? And more stuff can be coming in this direction, apparently, so why not? We'll kill it too. Let's just get rid of this stuff here. There's a scout in that direction, apparently. Yeah, we got his attention. That guy's gonna chase around a bomber, so it's fine, so... Boom! Nope, not gonna use that. Fire is here, fire is those. Whoop, I got disabled there for a moment, so I got, like, you know, pepper by laser spray. And the bomber didn't go down there, apparently, so that's kind of annoying. There we go, we popped out. There's a blocking shield, chaff, and our stuff right there. There we go, lots of stuff basically, like, you know, acquired. Let's kill the frigate. Kill the frigate! We knocked this guy down. He's out of picture. Alright, let's go over here. After I convert some more stuff, because you know. Possibly have to convert stuff in order to keep moving. There, that'll work. I should be in peace to do what I'm about to do, so let's go over here. Grab the frigate. Grab the uh, battleship. Alright, we'll make it right here. So. 
Oh, you need two utility space to build, by the way, so... In order to build, I'll actually have to have, like, you know, a second um, utility for it, so... Let's remove that for now. So yeah, I'm not by the way the battleship takes like you know similar amount of energy as like you know your human battleship basic build. And because of like you know, this thing is like a, a beast of a ship because basically it's got like deserved regen as well as like a max hull here like 75, so this is technically a better ship than like the other one. So let's just see here. I gotta recycle some stuff here to like you know do stuff here, so That's my hydrogen. You know, I only need like a little bit of energy, right? So... Just a little bit is fine. And there we go! A Zerg battleship! Now, I'll note that the jerk, by the way, um... You're basically gonna like you know see them in like you know force so like you know soon enough, but you know I think it's like the next sector um, 0 0.7 where you basically like, see like their like you know branch will show up or not. I can't really remember. We'll see. Let's make a few torpedoes here. I'm just gonna automatically board this. I think. And it's going to transfer everything over here, like so. What the heck did I just do? I'm not bothered because I'm basically using like, the mouse wheels, like, you know, not exactly working as an intent, this like game, but whatever. So let's just put this back on this mill, you know, this right here. Put this back on right here. Now, no problem, I can't use like shields on a ship, so it's like, you know, these are already done now, but you know, that's fine. They served their purpose lately long enough, these like shields basically, like, you know, keep me alive until we got to like the jerk. Battleship here. Now, I don't probably like this, like, an SOS I'd be so bad for a developer, but, you know, I consider this, like, this ship I'm, like, piling right now to be the best, the jerk one. Basically, every other, like, ship in a game, like, like, you know, the battleship here is cool and all, but, like, this is, like, a faster, like, you know, ship, as well as, like, you know, it's got, like, fairly good hull, so if I get, like, you know, basically, like, you know, if I basically get hit by, like, you know, um, dad hacks or anything on the jerk battleship, this ship basically doesn't have to worry about that, because basically it doesn't have a shield, and it's got, like, very, very good hack protection for, like, everything else, so... It's just such an awesome ship, this ship I'm basically using right now. Let's get rid of this stuff here, we don't really need that stuff anymore, so... Actually, I got, I got a lot of those parts right now, so... What I need to do right now is basically, like, you know, power up my weapons and stuff like that, so... I'm not sure a shield bypass really hurts, basically, for this thing right here, because, like, you know... Why not? I don't have shields basically anyway, so... Let's put that on. And there's also this thing here as well I could possibly put on as well for a damage boost, but you know... Let's see here. What's the jammer do, by the way? Alright, this is a pretty cool thing, I guess, to do stuff, but you know... I like the fact that I'm able to knock out stuff, so I don't want to ruin my like, ability to knock out stuff, so whatever. I just want to build another target here, here, so we like, you know, have it, so let's just get this right going here. So yeah, here's basically my ship right now. Um, 
Nope, I'm gonna look at the weapon dash right now. It's basically like, you know... I just wanna look at it right here. Whoops. Well, basically, I have like a weapon dash like, you know, 11.7 to like 19.5 right here. And it's really like, you know, 8 to 12. I think I want to put this basically on. That'll increase this stuff a little bit. See, yeah, it's putting out like 10 to 15. This is doing like, you know, 14.6, um, um, you know, 625. So basically, like, you know, this is like a free like damage increase for like my ship here to shield bypass, so why not? Let's put that right there for increased accuracy. We don't really need any more spare parts, so, you know, I'll probably just, like, you know, disassemble, not assemble, you know, just take the, like, other stuff in here I don't really need, and, like, you know, convert it into, like, crap, so. We have that stuff right there, for example. You know, I don't need this here. We don't need to have like both the military converters, so I'll probably get rid of one, one of them. I'm gonna keep basically the jerk converter basically around, but you know, the military converters basically I have right here. I'll probably like, you know look into like you know it's like you know converting one and like you know getting rid of the other one. Nothing in here I really care about, so... Put that on. Yeah, we don't really care about, like, these R converters, so... We're just gonna sell the R2, like, you know, converters basically I have right here to, like, you know, get some energy. This is basically an endgame ship I'm basically using right now, they're, like, you know, it's a jerk one, so... Let's convert that stuff right there. And before I forget about it, let's get some torpedoes, I guess. And I see you there, bomber. Let's go kill it. Hey, look at that. There's the frigate for, like, the jerk, so... Now, I want to buy this ship here I'm basically using right now. Because it's, like, such a fast ship, we're actually almost, like, as fast as, like, a scout. We're actually faster than their bombers now, so... We're really fast with this ship here, so... We'll catch up in no time. Probably got this guy's attention. There we go, got his attention. This guy's also got an EMP, so I don't want him to get like too close, but whatever. Alright, perfect. They're like close enough that I can like, you know, go here. Oh, there's a torpedo. Interesting. Fire that right there. Fire's right here. And, wow! We actually killed a bomber in one shot, I guess. So, interesting. It's probably because my weapons are like overcharged at this point, so... Nothing's really able to like, you know, stand up to me. There goes the jerk cruiser. Yeah, these guys have like shield bypass and stuff like guys because you know they don't have shields basically, so why not? You know, I, I sort of like feel tempted to like you know let these guys basically hit me a few times so you can like see like you know what the jerk regen is basically all about. But the problem is that I sort of like wiped the board, I think everything here, so. Oh, there's a bomb right up there. We'll go hit them. Bomb up there too. We're gonna kill the last few ships then. Oh, I know this guy is chasing me, chasing after me. So hooray! Alright, that's close enough. Let's start firing at these guys here a little bit, but you know. Alright, I want these guys to hit me, right? So, let's wait a moment. 
Alright, so basically we're taking a little bit of damage here from our torpedoes. There goes one of them. So, note that basically I've lost some, like, hull here. But as we basically go along here, we'll basically, like, you know, have it regenerate up. Because basically got the jerk regen ability. So, right now we're basically at, like, you know, 51.00, um, you know, 78999, you know, to, uh, hull right there of, like, uh, 75. So, basically lost, like, you know, favor of hull. Salvage real gun, target computer, scout hull relic. High explosive to relaunch. So, that's basically the um, opposite, basically, of, like, you know, the weapon I'm basically using right now to, like, do stuff. So... Interesting. I don't really care about it, but you know, it's interesting nonetheless. Let's get all this stuff basically salvaged. And yeah, if I look at my ship now, basically five turns later, you'll see like, you know, basically we're slowly like regenerating with our hull here. So the idea of like the jerk regen ship, um, ships is that like, you know, basically given time, they'll basically, like, you know, fully heal up to like, you know, um, Back to full, so to speak. They'll basically heal, like, you know, half a whole point per second. And I'll by, like, you know, you might think, like, you know, if you take too much damage, then it's not going to be, like, you know, all that good. But basically, half a hull point is basically a lot, basically, in this game, so... It's super powerful, basically, being able to regenerate that much, like, you know, health back, so to speak. You know, I'm trying to get myself a better torpedo launcher at this point, but so, like, you know... I can do stuff with it, so... Just put this on temporarily. This is the compact one, so I don't really care about it, I guess, so... Alright, we're basically gonna look around for, like, you know, new um, torpedo launchers when I get the chance to you know, use them, I guess. Now, I've actually gone through a sector here, by the way. We haven't yet to, like, you know, do any of, like, you know, sort of, like, harvesting, basically, so to speak, so... We kill all the ships basically before we do anything else, I guess. So, ooh. So there's like two points by way of, of interest here. So, you know, um, once we basically leave us to like Sector um, 7, the air is basically going to leave us to like, you know, one of the branches for like the alien, like, you know, world space, so to speak. So, we'll be able to show it off very soon. Whoops, I actually have to equip my mind laser here. So, you go back on. Let's put that right there. And yeah, it's basically good enough basically to harvest from here, so grab what we got can here. Eh, we'll go over here, why not? And yeah, I can see, like, you know, over here, so it's slowly going up the hull bar, so... Nothing really to it, so to speak. Wow, this is, like, a very poor drop chance here. Grab this stuff. Grab this stuff. Grab our, whatever's out over here. That's a jammer, apparently. You know, think about it, I may only have, like, you know, more solar rays, basically, to, like, make use of, like, you know, while running around like this. I'll note the Drake Battleship's really, very really fast, so... What I did in, like, my other playthroughs, like, like, you know, got, like, just a bunch more of, like, these, like, you know, solar rays. And I basically swapped them basically in to like, you know, everything for the most part. So yeah, four solar rays basically while I'm basically not doing anything, so to speak, so why not? I also like convert basically like, you know, just jammer into something. See, so look at my energy basically drop now, basically, so... Nope, with like all these like solar rays, we're basically like, you know, not dropping very fast with energy, so we're very efficient. That's the perfect thing to do when you basically have like, you know, 
you know, a basically a tunnel like, you know, empty space basically to run around in. Why not? 